Yo, what's going on guys? This is my very first kind of exploiting scripting tutorial video and basically we're going to be going over um, C-frames, uh, positions, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the, the easiest way I can explain this is it's the position of everything, you know. So right now my current player has a um, position that is always changing. Same with these droppers, same with the ores coming out of the droppers, and same with these people right here. Everybody has a C-frame or a position. And um, you are going to want something called Dex Explorer, and this kind of helps you see everything that's in the workspace. And anything in the game is in the workspace. Plain and simple. So right here, workspace, here's my character right here. I usually like to base everything off the humanoid root part because that's kind of like the center point of everything. Like if I teleport, the humanoid root part will teleport. You know what I'm saying? So like, I usually base everything around this. Like if I wanted to teleport, I would use this part. I'd change the position of this part to, you know, wherever. So right here, that's my C-frame. And C-frame is basically the same thing as position. I mean, they have the same exact values. So, um, yeah, so... Uh, let's waste no time I usually like to do local player equals game dot players dot local player dot name and what this is doing is it, it's kind of making the script universal and kind of just making it like a like a variable that we can go back and reference to um, because instead of just you know typing out your name right there all we have to do is just reference this variable right here player so it just makes it easy in the long run and like also if you want to like give the, the the script to your buddy he wouldn't have to go back and put it in his name or anything like that because <coughs> right here you know references the local player um okay so let's let's go ahead and try to make a script that just teleports us to maybe just another player um and this is like the this is bare bones like basics for anybody who's just getting into scripting i mean it's one of the easiest things you can learn how to do Okay, so we've got to locate our character and set our position to another character's position. So we're gonna do game dot workspace workspace dots. Now we want to do dot. We do player because that's our variable for our name. And then we would be going into the humanoid root part. Okay, and then. Right here, this is this is where I'm at, in case you guys are confused. I'm in my character, and then I'm in the humanoid root part. So we would do dot C frame equals C frame dot new. Okay, then we just find somebody that we want to teleport to. So I'm gonna go ahead and you who's got an easy name. Uh I'll just do this guy right here. So his name is Uh, cool angel one. Okay, and then we do humanoid root part dot position. Okay, Let's see what that does. C frame is not a valid member of. Did I spell it wrong? Oh yeah, I spelled it wrong. Okay. Well, boom. There we go. Now we just teleport it to this guy. Uh, is a tiny fella but yeah as you see so that's basically how you how you make a uh, pretty simple little teleport script um and yeah you could also teleport to objects you could also teleport other objects for instance if you wanted to take the ore straight out of this dropper and send it into the furnace you would use the same kind of um you know technique i just showed you in order to accomplish that so yeah, I mean, this has basically just been my first video of C-frames and kind of how to use them. Uh, yeah, if you guys want any more videos like this, just let me know down in the comments. Peace.